Dave, you know so, people would pay good money for this. Uh, but it's worth doing for free because... Okay. <laughs> but this, this oh. is important because general practice is in a lot of trouble and these are yes. things that are going to help us all. So if I, if I happen to be good at writing questionnaires, but I yep. can help other people do it with, and get their practices stable, I, uh, I'm happy to give it away for nothing. So... Wow. Everybody, welcome again. It's me, uh, Dr. Tori Ahmed from Wimsor Health Centre, and I'm Ahmed, another partner at Wimsor Health Centre. And we're joined tonight by uh, a favourite guest of ours, <laughs> uh, Dave Triska, down in Surrey, but an ex Mank. There you go. I'm okay. <laughs> Hi, Dave. And to, to, tonight is really a last minute. This is a, a hot take. Um, just um, we, we we don't we didn't plan this one at all. We just I, I saw your uh, uh, latest um, yeah. <laughs> uh, development with ChatGPT and uh, show us more. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let me talk you through what I've done. So yep. uh, we both use Accurix for online, online triage and you can create custom questionnaires, which are, mm -hmm. have been referred to as Floyds in the past. Um, yeah. But it, they they take a while to write. You have to think: How do I accredit the guidance that's going into what I'm making? Is it accurate? Um, is a manual process of doing it? And and do you know what I thought: Is there a better way of doing it? So so let me show you. Uh, I'm just going to share my screen and then bring you into Accurix Flory uh, <laughs> Creator. So so ChatGPT allows you to make custom GPTs. So there, it's essentially where you've given it a a series of prompts behind it, it's inst instructions, if you like. And what I've built this one to do is let's build a Flory so our hardworking clinicians and administrative staff don't have to sit there and it maps it to accredited sources or sources of your choosing. So mm -hmm. um, what, what do you want to make? What, what's, what's of interest for you? Oh, you might HRT. not like this. So like, a, mm -hmm. I would love a HRT Flory. <laughs> and would, <laughs> would you like it for diagnosis? Um, we'll just gather the relevant information beforehand. So symptoms, um, uh, try and gauge what their risks are, um, like family history, um, um, and then have they read and understood, like I'd send them some information yeah. and what preferences they have. So some of them say, I only want patches, you know, so by the time they come and sit in front of you. You've collected all the data. You, okay. I have got one, but it's not very efficient. It doesn't. No. I, I, was like, I was just talking to Armour, I'm going to have to go back and redesign it because um, it's still causing problems. OK, well, well let's see how it goes. So I've given it a simple <laughs> instruction. So said, so let's make a flory for a suspected HRT diagnosis. Use the information from patient.co.uk, so the professional okay. section, and let's see what it does. So we haven't prepared this. This is all live. Okay. So it's saying, sure, I can, uh, I can create a flory. Do you want to use anything to give me some reference material? So it's already using patient.co.uk professional so i'm going to tell it that's fine no nope, so no can i give you can i give you one <laughs> yeah you can, you can you can give me one sure what would you yeah, like the bms uh british menopause society guidelines so i'll pop that into to google um yeah hrt guide is that sound yeah. right yeah. yeah yeah okay let's stick that in <laughs> so copy it i just stick it in there paste and let's click go so it searches uh, it's going to use the bms website okay and here's the flory it's being produced as we speak so wow message written for you brilliant what are you experiencing multiple choice questions so the the bot will tell you what this question type should be um, yeah. how long have you started hrt if you've started it how long have you been on it hrt using any side effects similar any of the following conditions oh. Anyone in your family have a history of uh, heart disease, breast cancer, osteoporosis, blood clots? Are you taking any of the medications or supplements? Do you have any questions? And then the ending message includes a link to the NHS page, hormone replacement therapy. Brilliant. That's absolutely amazing. And like I spent, how long? Yeah. <laughs> I spent days trying to do this. Do you remember we're going back and forth and I'll yeah. think about it. Uh, wow. That's, that's so, pretty So let's awesome. pick another one. Uh, how about, should we do prostate symptoms? Okay. Because a lot of men contact is worried about prostate cancer. Yeah. Yep. So, so I'll say build me a flory to screen for symptoms of prostate cancer. Uh, our cat's just meowing. Go and let him in. Do you want to let him in? Go and let him in. 
So here we go. Okay. So simple prompt, just saying build me a floor eater for prostate cancer. And again, it will ask, um, do I have any reference sources I'd like to use? So I'm just going to say use the ones uh, that it's got there. So nice CKS, yep. Patient UK, GP Notebook, NHS website. So mm -hmm. go ahead and let's see how, how it comes. So what I wanted it to do was to take away all the hard work for it. So all the writing, the initial message, uh, thinking yeah. about how you structure it, what, wow. what's the best way around for the questions. So we've got here, it's already put in what are the urinary symptoms that are associated with prostate cancers, um, hematuria, uh, hemos hematospermia. Uh, notice it's also screening for bone pains, erectile okay. dysfunctions, yeah. weight yeah. loss, leg and feet swelling, family histories. And at the end ends with, a, an, again, another link, because I wanted to make sure Brilliant. that when, when people mm. finish the Flory, it's actually got safety netting advice and clinical information advice. Um, and how long did that take? That's amazing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's amazing. How, how do you, wow, how do you, do you then cut and paste it across onto the template or? Yeah, so uh, that's the only bit that is a slight manual labour of love. Mm -hmm. So there's no way of exporting this directly into Flory through a clever CSV or something. So basically you've yeah. got to copy and paste into each question as you're going. Um, but you know that's that's gonna that how long would it have taken us to write yeah. stories yeah. like that? That's brilliant. Uh, and it will do explain. anything. So you know, say you're behind on your demographics. Yeah. Can you tell it to suggest the right SNOMED code according to each response? Mm. So I'm I'm working on that at the moment because the trouble yeah. is the SNOMED codes are in a searchable database and right. you can't get a file of them. So. Okay. The database interface is a, a search function, so it yeah. can't actually go and do that. It can scrape through web websites, so it can look at information that's there. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, uh, all the snowbed. If any, if you want to share one with me, I'll happily build it. And it, the, the ones I found are all uh, searchable databases, yeah. so um, it's hard to get those integrated. But okay. um, so. Here's one, an admin question. So you want to catch up on your demographics data. It's mm. already built age, sex at birth, ethnicity. Mm. Uh, it's got a little bit modeled to put some prostate symptoms in because we yes, need to make a, a new chat for that. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you could, if you've got nothing, and I know I've shared my Flory uh, library with people, but yeah. you could start from scratch. And, and you know what a great... And my top tip is if you're doing triage and there's a problem that's annoying and you think, I wish I had that information, yes. just use this quickly to build one. And you Amazing. can always go back that later so and build helpful. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And here it is having a go at demographics. And there we go. That's the perfect demographic question set for a, a Flory to go out. Because the questionnaires are so useful, but they this are, so they take time just to, makes yeah. it so much more accessible, doesn't it? It's brilliant. How, so how did you, so you say there's a, See, most of the most of us use chat gpt just like a entertainment yeah <laughs> and, and, and there's a prompt and so how did you get into this bit yeah. do you want do you want to sneak GPT? at the back end yeah yes. go for it. Yeah. <laughs> sure so this is the back end of um custom gpts so yeah. and what, gpt what, just for everyone who doesn't know what does gpt stand for it's a generative process something transformer i think um but, but <laughs> okay. it's, it's, it's the structure of how these models make yep. stuff basically mm -hmm. right. um so, so this is what the back end is so it, it's actually pretty clever so you've got a, a configuration screen on here which so this is the actual instructions for it so yep. there's, there's lots of things i've had to put in to say don't make stuff up uh yep. specific <laughs> ways that you'd like to do it make yep. it sequentially <laughs> make sure that the reading age is appropriate use plain mm. language uh, don't go scraping for data which is irrelevant so i really hate there's one particular online company that no matter what you do asks you if you're gambling um, and it annoys oh, me. I know that one. <laughs> yeah, a couple, couple of questionnaires. Uh, I've given it some resources. Um, but the great bit, if you don't know how to do all this stuff, if yeah. you have got a plus subscription to ChatGPT, which yeah, is yeah. what you require yeah. for this, yeah. um, you can actually build it just by talking to it. Oh, so wow. you can put messages in here and say, you know, uh, at the end, put a patient summary of what they've said. And it will, mm. the computer will go away and do all the hard work for you. And then you can play it in demo mode just over here. So uh, let's make a hair loss story. And you can tune it in the back end. So I've spent a, a while trying to work out all the things that might go wrong doing this um, and figuring it out. So hopefully when people are using this, uh, they'll have a pretty good experience. <laughs> if you are using it and you've got a little problem with it, if I take you back to the actual screen, 
and the actual GPT rather than the, the configuration guide. Oops. Dave, you know people so, would pay good money for this. Uh, but it's worth doing for free because... Okay. <laughs> But this, oh. this is important because <laughs> general practice is in a lot of trouble and these are yes. things that are going to help us all. So if I if I happen to be good at writing questionnaires, but I yep. can help other people do it with and get their practices stable, I, uh, I'm happy to give it away for nothing. So wow. um, if you're using this as a yep. user and down this side here, you're, if you click on the little arrow at the top, there'll be send feedback. You can review it. Please leave a review okay. if possible. Okay. Uh, I haven't shared this on the main uh, sharing site for it so it's only for people with links which we'll share in the in the video uh, yeah. but please leave a review or send me feedback just so I can work out what you guys want out of it okay brilliant so if people have the links and they've got the subscription they can just access this really? it shows up on your phone wow. so right, you, just, yeah. you just click it click the link and you'll be through so we'll have the link in the description down below or I'll try to put it on the screen um, and is that all they have to do? Click on the link, and if they've got a subscription to ChatGPT, it'll be there. Yeah, the, the page you'll see will be this open up, and yeah. you'll have uh, these are a few just suggestions for me. Uh, yeah. So, to say, like, design a health questionnaire for a health review, but you can just free text in the bottom. And I think the important bit that I've just highlighted in the instructions is you can share a link, you can provide a web page, a document, yeah. or share images. Okay. Yeah. So you can yeah. actually ask it to look at images of things. So say you've got like a, a PDF or something or a screen cap, you can attach it into here. You can connect OneDrive, you can connect Google Drive, you can upload from your computer wow. the data that's on there. So it's all really, really good stuff. So there's loads of ways of getting your bespoke bits of information in. Uh, so, for example, if you had a, a niche area of interest that you wanted to follow up with people on, uh, maybe you've got a gut specialism, you can put in your own society's documents mm. there. So it can be quite a large PDF or similar. Um, mm. And, you know, it, it will really work quite well for you. Wow. That's, that's so that's, amazing. That's where do you see, this, this, is a, this is a whole new world opening up right in front of us. I mean, day by day, we're just getting... Uh, new, new stuff coming coming to us hey we might just have to just do doctoring absolutely yeah. <laughs> instead of all the other so bits. where do you see this going i mean you must have thought this this is just uh mind-blowing there's so much potential for this well i think the bits that have been really tricky for gps is we are now in you know the bleeding edge of technical stuff in surgeries and if yep. you need to do things like write bits for emis uh protocols all sorts of stuff you know, we've got actually a helping hand. And what's what's amazing about the new model for ChatGPT, which is called For Omni, is it's mm. got visual processing skills, so it can watch things live. So it can. Mm. So if you don't know what you're doing, you can yeah. have it looking at your screen and explaining to you the process, and it will wow. talk you through it. Amazing. So, so the the sky is the limit, really. So, wow. th in another another version of this, because that model's not fully implemented yet. Yeah, you know, this might be something where you've actually got the Floy screen up, so the Floy mm -hmm. builder, and it's interacting directly with that, and you're telling it what to stick in each box. Oh, that would be amazing! Wow. I'm just thinking about ways in which we can use this. this is very good. Thank you for bringing this yeah. to our attention. And, and again, yeah, on behalf of like every GP in the UK who's going to make use of this, thank you, Dave, for doing it and sharing it for free. It's that's be a proper game changer. That's thank you. really yeah. Someone Thanks. give him an MBA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're most welcome. Um, I think if there's enough demand at some point, then there might be some way of putting it onto a site where people don't need a chat GPT subscription. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If people aren't aware that that actually it costs money. So every time that yeah. you're kind of yeah. using it in a commercial way like that, you have to pay for the interfaces that people use. So yeah. if there's demand for it, you know, I'm, I'm sure I can put, put that out there. But um, I figured as a free version at the moment for GPT users, because I figured uh, my thoughts were the people who are probably going to use this are likely got a chat GPT subscription. <laughs> yeah. So um, mm. then uh, I really hope it helps. Brilliant. I'm sure it will. Dave, thank you so much. We're going to come back to you for more developments than this, but I just wanted to make sure that this got out there yeah. so that as many people could get uh, as much benefit out of this as possible. So thank you again. Yeah. Pleasure. Have a really great evening, guys. Take care. Bye now. Bye.